Baskin Robbins is trying to get their piece of this $5 billion bubble tea market. But what if they colonize Boba? <gasps> All right, everybody, Baskin Robbins has just released its very own tiger milk bubble tea. It has tea in it. It's based off the tiger sugar milk drink. Uh, it also has brown sugar popping bubbles inside of it. We're actually going to try it at the end of this video. Um, but Dave, we got some questions. Yeah, I mean, it sparked a controversy in the Boba Fanatic crowd. Some people support it. Some people go against it. Some people are in the middle. So we got to talk about it. All right, we're going to talk about is it cultural appropriation? But first, let's talk about who is this actually for? because I don't think it's for the Asian boba drinking crowd, David. Right. Some people Surprise. are worried that it was gonna like take money away from the mom and pop stores, but I don't think it's true. It's primarily for people in states that don't have boba, as well as certain demographics within larger cities like LA or New York or Houston, where like maybe some people are like culturally uncomfortable being actually in a Asian Asian spot, you know? So I think that, you know, Baskin Robbins is obviously wanting to get a slice of this potentially $5 billion industry. Like, I think those are the projections for the Boba game globally in seven years. It's all about money, but people are worried because they're thinking that these American companies are going to start serving Asian products because they have access to like that, you know, different markets than Asians have access to and they're going to eat it all up. Yeah. I mean, they're probably afraid that somebody from Kentucky, Indiana or Georgia is going to come to LA for this to the 626 and be like, Hey, this Boba, this bubble tea drink is similar to the one that I had at Baskin Robbins. <laughs> you know, Carol Baskins, the Tiger yeah. King. That's That was the collaboration. That's how I see it. Yeah, I, I was told that it is from Canton, Canton, Massachusetts. By the way, I love Taiwanese Pad Thai. Um, but uh, I don't I don't know if that's going to be the case, guys. I wouldn't worry too much about it. But yes, I do think it's mostly for the markets that don't have a lot of boba. Um, Another big question I think people really want to ask, David, is, is it cultural appropriation at all? Like, should we support it? Should we hate it? Should we just let it be? I mean, listen, guys, coffee is going to be like a $180 billion industry by the same time that Boba's like $5 billion. So it's like 3% or whatever. And it's like um, most of that 3%, Andrew, that $5 billion right now is dominated by Asians. So when the white companies come in or American companies, but you know, it's mostly run by white people. Uh, they Are they gonna grow the pie? So, or are they gonna try to eat the pie? Right. Are nope. they gonna have, are they gonna grow it for everybody? So the Asian slice of it is, but right now it's a smaller pie, but it's almost all Asian. Now, if I think there's a Baskin Robbins next to a mom and pop boba shop, right? And Baskin Robbins starts serving boba, could it eat up that mom and pop's market Possibly. However, if you look at like the boba chains, I think what Baskin Robbins is doing is maybe introducing a lot of people to the idea of bubble tea and therefore increasing the overall market cap for people like boba guys or gong cha right. to come in there and open up more locations. Not only that, where are they going to source their materials from? They may buy it from wholesalers in Asia, you know, a variety of different Asian countries now do wholesale boba products, whether that's boba straws. Uh, we know somebody who even took a company public selling boba straws. Right. Karen, look at this photo. You would not believe how big this economy is. Guys, I'm not defending Baskin Robbins because I don't know who's on their board or how many Asian people they just hired to go launch this because they actually kind of failed with the popping pearls with Dunkin' Donuts earlier. If you guys don't know, Dunkin' owns Baskin Robbins and Dunkin' and Donuts. And there was a big course. controversy because they did not attribute anything to Asians. And they that's why not. this time they made very sure to go, Ubi's from Philippines, the Tiger Sugar's from Taiwan. Yeah, guys, we said it. Please don't cancel like, Guys, it's on our website. Baskin Robbins, you know what might help if you put up a little triangle of information I mean, in all your stores and just tell people the history of Boba. Honestly, I think it would be cool. I think I, it'd be cool. I think there's always a, a fear of colonization, right? Because if you look at the coffee industry, most of the beans come from, I believe, Africa and Southeast Asia. Or but, South America. But South America, I'm sorry, Africa and Southeast Asia. But a lot of, they don't get to see the bulk of the profits. They just get the thin margin or whatever for margin in the beans. And obviously uh, companies like Starbucks and et cetera, et cetera, they're taking the bulk of the margin. You could also argue that they're finishing the product, but it's complicated, man. It's complicated anytime a white American company with super advanced billion dollar infrastructure and all the analytics goes into a mom and pop field like Boba, right? David, People are skeptical, people are scared, people don't know what to do. But to me, I'm like, guys, this is the world, this is America, it's capitalistic. We just gotta learn how to roll with it. Just like jujitsu. Because everybody who's like arguing that we should protest it and everybody who's like, oh, you guys are so stupid and woke-y woke, arguing against the people who are angry, they're both missing the point. 
Right. You guys should be riding this wave too, if yeah. you can. The wave Figure is the out. wave. We can't control the wave. The wave is that Asian flavors are really delicious. Yeah. Both ube, tiger sugar, et cetera, et cetera. I'm sure that Starbucks, you know, they do, already do a matcha drink. I wouldn't be surprised if Baskin Robbins is gonna have a matcha ice cream or a hoji cha ice cream on the menu within like two years. They have a matcha so, latte so right now. What are you gonna do as an Asian American to benefit from this versus just like arguing with each other about it? Because it's coming. No, guys, figure out a way to benefit from the rise of Asian flavors that ultimately a lot of white owned corporations will adopt, maybe not as their own, but they will use it to make money. And that is part of the system that we have here in America. David, I also know a Korean guy who got rich from serving Tex-Mex food called Baja Fresh. Right. So I'm saying that's that, and nobody really caused a controversy about that. Also guys, the guy who started Taco were the, Bell- Were the Tex-Mexians not offended though? <laughs> the, the, yeah, I, the, the, and, and the guy who started Taco Bell is not of Mexican descent. Right. Right. And so, I know that it is fair too though, that a lot of Chicanos or Mexican Americans we know feel some type of yeah. way about Taco yeah, Bell. Yeah, and you don't have to eat at Taco Bell. You don't have to go to Baskin Robbins. You can spend your energy hating on them if you want, but it probably won't do that much, uh, especially in the fact that uh, they're doing a brown sugar milk drink, which I actually think has the opportunity to be at least like medium level good. Maybe not amazing, but probably not horrible. Just based well, on well, the you flavors think alone. They're on version 2.0 right now. Popping Pearls were terrible from Duncan. <laughs> that was 1.0. Now Tiger Sugar's 2.0. Who knows if they put the R and D in version 5.0, 6.0, it could taste pretty good. Guys. So I think that Asian Americans, we got to think about like, okay, maybe you can open up a boba chain. I know T pumps. That was their whole thing. We're going to be like renamed boba to be T pumps for yeah. people who don't want to say, you know, like an Asian word. Also, David, I have a question. Is brown sugar itself an Asian flavor? Is that like matcha? So. Is that so. like uve? Is that like five spice? What if they do a five spice drink? Then I'm, that's really it. But brown sugar and milk is obviously yeah. the tiger sugar trend I, that they started. But but brown sugar in itself has been around for forever. I just like think percent Arabica came into the coffee game and really like left a dent in the game. That's Japanese made coffee from Kyoto. They were pretty strong. I just feel like Asian Americans, we got to understand that this tidal wave is coming and how are we gonna ride it? And But we're like arguing about whether the tidal wave is good or bad. And I'm like, guys. It's here. Yeah, just like argue about it for like 10 minutes and then spend like three hours thinking about how you're gonna benefit from it. Oh, 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 you wanted Asian representation in the media? Those are still white owned corporations too, baby. This is just Asian representation in the food space. So I don't know, it is what it is. It's coming, it's here. Asians didn't own like CRA either. We were just in it. <laughs> Who do you think makes made most of the money from Crazy Rich Asians? All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that. Please let us know in the comments down below what you think. Are you going to support it? Do you hate it? Uh, what do you think about this whole trend that Asian flavors are going to be used by, by American corporations? By the way, we are about to try the Tiger Milk bubble tea right hey, now. They serve the Irish Bailey's flavor, and they also serve the you know Italian Tutti Frutti. I don't know. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. All right, you got your vanilla ice cream on top. You got your brown sugar on the bottom. Swirls, it looks meticulous like they said in the description. It's weird. It's weird, but not bad. That's the best way I can describe it. Something from some sort of legit hollow hollow mixed with Thriftway bubblegum ice what cream. What do you give it? Rating out of 10. Be real, given the expectation. 6.5.